Hi there. I'm Elizabeth Larkin. I'm a balanced body, original balanced body faculty and um, what's it called? Passing the Torch mentor. And I have a private practice in San Francisco. I came to that private practice after working for 15 years at Center for Sports and Dance Medicine at St. Francis Hospital and then for 10 years developing the Pilates, Gyrotonic and Yoga programs at Western Athletic Clubs. I got started with Pilates on Tour because Nora and Al sent me an invitation. They said we're launching something new and it's going to be in San Francisco at a hotel in San Francisco and would you come and teach some workshops for us? And I said I'd be so happy to. And every time I get an invitation to teach at Pilates on Tour, it's always a special event. It's always an honor, and I'm glad to keep coming back year after year. The, the unique factor of Pilates on Tour is that there's the feeling of being part of a supportive family in the best way. Okay. Um, there's a, a, a warmth, a welcomeness to the community that I think is established by um, Ken Endelman and by Al Harrison and Nora St. John, the founders, and consequently they draw to them um, people who have that same sensibility or heart song. Um, so when we're, when we're together at Pilates on Tour, we welcome um, the people we haven't met before and are always happy to be reunited with the people that we've known for years. Pilates is a fairly new movement form. I mean, compared, say, to yoga or to Chai Chi or Qigong. And as such, Pilates has the relevance of being a movement form that can be shaped for contemporary society now. I mean, we can learn from the best, our forefathers, foremothers, and it's important to create the, uh, the information that's right for the lifestyle today. Consequently, um, I really uh, think that Pilates teachers these days have the responsibility to know more than ever before, to know our anatomy, to know our recent research in biomechanics, um, to know the importance of tactile cueing, the importance of the nervous system. There's so much to learn um, more than ever before. Um, I'm always um, looking for the next new thing to study. Uh, not because it's necessarily the next new trend, not because it's trend forecasting, but because, yeah, but because it's the right thing for my evolution. Apparently that's important to me, yeah, because it's the right thing for my evolution. And I've been really fortunate that, the, that my evolution and the evolution of our field seem to be frequently in sync. Sometimes I'm a little bit too far ahead and people go, whoa, she's over some edge. But, you know, if I just behave myself and uh, stay grounded, then, then they'll catch up with me. So for maybe five, six years, I've been studying the, um, the research about fascia, about the neuromyofascial web. And that's led me to uh, not only to develop curriculum for the contemporary Pilates environment, but also uh, to, be, to write on the subject. Um, a couple of years ago, I authored the um, chapter on Pilates fascia-oriented training for a book uh, by Handspring Publishing called Fascia in Sport and Movement that brings together the research and the applications on um, fascia. And as a result of that chapter, I was asked to write my own book, which is called Fascia in Motion. And it's uh, due out in early 2016 from Handspring Publishing. It's my impression that the, uh, that the physicality of our culture is in trouble, um, both for the older generation and the younger generation as well. We have the advantage of having the opportunity to work with the best that technology has to offer, and yet the best that technology has to offer is not necessarily optimal for the neuromyofascial web or for the motor cortex. We see people doing a lot of screen time and getting laptop neck and computer posture. Um, and we see people doing a lot of sitting that's getting in the way of um, uh, stimulating their circulation. So I think that Pilates and the contemporary Pilates environment has a greater responsibility than ever before to give people movement opportunities that are pleasurable and beneficial and functional and will help save them from themselves.